prayer meeting, we pray peace for the city of Jerusalem and the salvation of the Jewish people. I pray from Acts chapter 2, verse 17 to 21. I pray for the city of Jerusalem, for the believers and every congregation, Jews and Gentiles and international congregations in the city of Jerusalem. In the last day, says the Lord, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your young men shall see visions. Your old men shall dream dreams. And on my men servants and my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit and they shall prophesy. I will show wonders in the heaven above and signs in the earth beneath. These things will happen before the great and awesome day of the Lord. Father, we come before your glorious presence. Father of glory, we come and we take our stand before you. Lord, even in the presence of your holy angels. Father, we bring your word back to you. The very thing that you had zeal for spoke to Joel in the days of old and we know that you never change we know that this word is dear to your heart and I thank you Father for your zeal for the move of the Holy Spirit in this hour of history God I ask you in the city of Jerusalem Lord in every congregation I ask you for the winds of the Spirit to blow in a greater measure. Lord, we ask you for a greater measure of the activity of the Holy Spirit in every congregation. You would strengthen the saints. You would release the Spirit of glory in them and through them at a greater measure. Lord, we ask you for a historic breakthrough of the Holy Spirit's activity in Jerusalem. Father, we ask that you'd revive your church. We ask that you'd revive your church and you would win the loss. God, I ask that your sons and daughters, male and female, old and young, everyone that calls on the name of the Lord, God, that you would release a supernatural dimension in their life even more than before. Father, we thank you for the measure that you have given over the last decades in that city. And Father, we ask you for more. We ask that love would abound still more and more. Love for your son, love for the lost, love for one another. God, I ask you, you would visit the young people in the night you would visit the old people. God dreams and visions the very grace of prophecy that the oracle of your heart would be declared through song, through declaration, in intercession, in testimony. God, I ask that you would strengthen with might every believer, the weakest and the youngest believer among them. God, I ask for your great mercy you would do today what you did in the days of old what you did in Jerusalem 2,000 years ago do it again God weak and broken people suddenly walking in the might of the Lord fearless in power God I ask you that you would stretch forth your hand to release mighty signs and wonders as the word of the Lord goes forth in the universities, in the military, in all the congregations, in the marketplace. God, I ask you for a historic visitation of the Holy Spirit in the city of Jerusalem. Lord, do it again. I ask you for tens of thousands of people to come to the Lord in Jerusalem in the days soon ahead. God, I ask you for the first release of the great harvest that will be millions and millions. God, I ask you for tens of thousands.
suddenly to turn to the name of Jesus, to turn to Yeshua, that they would call on the name of the Lord as you revive your church as the spirit of glory is released in power. So Father, I come to you and I say in the name of Jesus, pour out your spirit with signs and wonders, dreams and visions. Lord, release great and mighty works. In Jerusalem, Lord. Lord, in every congregation, stir up the spirit of prophecy. Miracles, signs, and wonders. The glory and the beauty of Christ Jesus. Oh, that his name would be lifted high. Lord, release the very oracle of your heart. Oh, that they would prophesy. Father, we take our stand before you. We believe you, Abba, for your word. We prophesy over Jerusalem now. God, we ask you. 
bring them to 